Hi there, I'm Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and Design, and today I'm going to share with you how to make these super cute fabric chickens. I call them the Cheery Fabric Chicken, and uh, these are so fun for spring and summer and for all the chicken lovers in your life. It's a quick and easy project. You can use scraps and small pieces of fabric, and then they make like awesome decoration for your home and gifts for all those neighbors you have collecting chickens or for yourself. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so I use my rotary cutter and um, to cut out my pieces. And of course I went with the grain of the fabric. And here are my pieces I cut out. I have my, um, these are gonna be the tail feathers. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Uh, here are the two wing pieces. They are cut in mirror images, just like it says right here on the pattern piece. And then here is the body, the body piece, and then the base. And I also cut out a piece of um, interfacing that you need to fuse to the base piece. This gives it a little extra structure. Okay, and then I have my comb and two beak pieces. That's exactly what you should have now. The first order of business is to attach the little pockets to, um, or the wings to your chicken. And um, I cut two mirror images of these and then I press them in half. They look like this when they're all out. And then I press them in half and I'm just going to pin, this is the back with the little um, cutout where the tail feathers are going to be. I'm just going to pin this, you can kind of Make sure it's nice and straight like that and then the way I get them even is kind of this little I take the other one put it right on top of that one then I put my other body piece on top and then I kind of just take my fingers and feel under there and that gives me a good mirror you know a good placement for both of them without having to fuss too much pin them on And now I'm going to just zigzag stitch all around here and do a little, you know, the back stitch right at the front there. And I'm going to zigzag stitch all around here and back stitch at my sewing machine. Okay, so now, now you see my pockets are attached with a zigzag stitch, uh, both pockets. And next we're going to just attach the comb and the beak. Um, the comb goes about right here. You can see it overlaps a little bit here. So I'm going to baste it on with my machine and then when I sew them together I'm just gonna kind of tuck it under like that um, so that's done and then I kind of tuck that one little side under and now for the beak you have these two pieces of felt and what I'd like to do is I fold it in half like this and then I take the other one and fold it in half to kind of make a beak like that isn't that cute so they're kind of overlapping, both folded in half, if you can see that. And then I simply just, I'm going to put this on here and you can baste it, or I'm gonna use my evergreen art clips right here and have that in place. So those two are together. And then we add this other layer of the body. And we're going to sew we're gonna leave a space right here for turning. I like to mark those first so that I make sure I don't forget it. So that's the turning space. You can make that a little bigger if you'd like. And then just a couple pins around here. And I'm gonna just hold these together and take the clip and clip it so that it's that easy. And now I'm going to go back to my machine and sew with about a quarter inch a seam allowance. Um, so up here, across there, down around here, up here and stop. I'm going to leave this empty. I'm going to leave this open. And then sew to there, back stitch, and then sew to here. Okay, and then leave the base um, open also for when I put on the, um, the bottom of the chicken. So that's what we're doing and I'll be right back to show you what that looks like in a sec. Okay, the next step is to make our cute little tail like this. 
And I just saved some of the scraps from when I was cutting, when I cut out the pattern pieces. And um, I just fold them in half like this, like this. And I think about four is probably all that you wanna get in there. Four little strips folded in half. And then what you do is you open this up. Um, you can see there's a hole right here in the two seams from the back and then the um, the top, you know, the, the from right here and right here. And we're creating this little boxy bottom by just pinching that together, that little space. You can see that, very easy. And then take these four little strips um, and we just tuck them under here. There, it fits nicely. I made them all about one inch thick and about five inches, four and a half, five inches long. Five inches long I made them. And we're just gonna see how they fit in like that. And then we open up the seam. Both seams are open. You don't have to, you can press them if you want. Both seams are open. And then I'm just gonna sew right across there. And so they're secure. So I sewed right across and I'm not gonna cut off these ends because I kinda like it to be a little bit longer and that way you can kind of manipulate um, how the tail feathers stand up like this. That's gonna be really cute. Next is attaching the base. This is very easy to do. Uh, I like to fold it in half and mark the, cor the, uh, mark the two ends here. Mar you know, mark two even spots. And these I attach to my seams of the chicken like this. Open it up, and one of those marks goes right there on that seam. And this mark, open this up, open that seam, and this goes right here. And then just put a few pins in like this. And with the pat, one of the nice things about having the pattern piece made for you is that this circle is a good fit. Then at your sewing machine, just sew all around this circle here. You know, just go slow and move things out of the way and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can see on this chicken, I sewed it. Um, it's not exactly perfect, but it turns out really cute in the end, no matter what. So next, sew the base on. Okay, the base is on and everything's ready. We're gonna turn our little chicken inside out. Right through that space in the back. Oh, he's so cute. Now, I like to add, you can either just stuff the chicken at this point with polyfill, but what I like to do to make sure that he sits up, I, I kind of picture them sitting on a, a countertop or something. I like to add rice to the base. And I just do that with a funnel and some old rice. I get like, you know, the really cheap rice at um, uh, the grocery store. This is about a cup of rice. And I just funnel it on in there. And then you can see how that, um, kind of gives it a nice base and makes sure that it sits up nice for you. Now that he's all stuffed, there's uh, two things left to do. I'm going to sew up the base, the little bottom here. Um, I'm just going to do a little ladder stitch and sew that all the way up. Okay. 
And the very last thing I have to do is add the eye. I'm gonna put it about right here. Uh, and I just, I like to take a little pencil and mark it right there. And then the other side too. You can see how I did that. And that's just a guide. Um, a couple things about putting the eye in. You can use a little button if you'd rather. Or if you're good with, you could use a little fabric paint. Um, whatever you choose to put the eye in. I just do a little satin stitch here. And I like to, I use the embroidery floss and I separate it uh, into three strands. They come in six and you separate them into three. And then I, I tie a knot at the end like this. There's a little tiny knot there. And I just come in kind of at one of the seams pull it through like this and then when it stops right there I give it a little gentle tug and so that it's inside um, inside the chicken here and then I just do a few stitches on each side and here it is all done you can see these uh, the cute eyes on either side and um, the fun little wing pockets. Now one little thing I did was I put a, just a little bit of stuffing in the pocket to kind of fill it out. I think that's fun. And then you can um, put whatever you want to in there. And the tail, this is what the base looks like. And our little chicken is all done. He's so cute. I can join his chicken friends and they can have a little chicken party.